In this video we will create additional complex supermetrics leveraging another functions. In this use case we would like to know the highest CPU ready and lowest RAM available values for certain group of VMs. Let's assume we have this custom application consisting of three VMs managed by our vRealize operations. And for this application we would like to see the highest CPU ready and the lowest free memory value across all three VMs. That means we need to create two new supermetrics. As always we give the new supermetric a name and a description and this time as we are going to use the CPU ready in percent metric we can use the predefined percent unit as well for this supermetric. For the first supermetric we are using the max function. As in the previous video we used the control space functionality to quickly select the object type virtual machine and the metric we would like to use CPU ready in percent. Just in case we would use add tiers on nested groups, we set the depth value to 3. In a preview, we are checking if the formula is calculating a value. At the end, we will see that this value is really the correct one. As we have learned in the last video, we can also see the formula in the legacy view. And as the last two steps, we specify the object type we would like to have this supermetric assigned to. In this case, it's container application, which stands for the custom application object type in VROPS. The final step is as always activating the new supermetric in the policy. After a few collection cycles we see the new supermetric available on the application object and we see that it is in fact reflecting the highest CPU ready across all VMs within that application. Following exactly the same recipe we create the second supermetric for this use case. The unit for this supermetric will be kilobyte. The function we need to use in this supermetric is min and the rest of the formula is similar to the first supermetric. So we're still using the same object type, virtual machine. The metric itself is of course a different one as we are now measuring the remaining free memory of the virtual machines within the application. We set the depth value, we can test the formula using the preview functionality, as always we can see the formula in the legacy view and finally we assign it to the right object type and we enable the new supermetric in the policy. At the end we have both required supermetrics and we can use them in dashboards, reports and other vRealize operations content. In addition to min, max and sum there is a number of additional functions in vRealize operations. For example average is another very helpful function. You can find more information regarding all available functions in our official online documentation for vRealize operations. In this video you have learned how to use the min and max functions in supermetrics. In the next video you will learn how to create supermetrics using the this option. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you don't miss the next part.